on the uh, Dope as Usual podcast. Yes, sir. Now, do you go by Thomas Yola? Dope as Yola? What is your? Um, I, I introduce myself as Thomas to everybody. Okay, but people call me anything, man. People call me a bunch of different things. So I, man, it's crazy because I was not really hip to like the weed YouTube world. It's there in, until recently. Oh, really? Very recently. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, world. listen, I'm pretty heavily involved in the weed shit, you know? So, like, it was just kind of, I've been to, like, a lot of sessions and stuff, and I, I feel like I've met a lot of people, but I wasn't very hip until recently Travis Thompson came on our mm-hmm. show, and he came right after okay. he left your thing. <laughs> and, uh, and he sh- like, he was like, dude, this dude just got me high as fuck. Yeah, I try not to get him too high, though. Just because I knew he was coming And it was here. crazy because I, I was like, oh, shit. And then I followed your guys' podcast page that day. And then you guys did Jeezy. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, I, and like your shit just kept popping up. And then I just went on a fucking deep dive because I really uh, like the way your guys' podcast is presented, the way you. it looks. Does your boy Marty handle all that? Yeah, Marty, me and Marty do everything. He's a beast, dude. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, but it's a great show. Like I really like went on like a... A fucking bender, like just watching some of your stories. Thank and, you. Sick. And uh, I was like, damn, this dude's fucking got a sick life. Yeah, I don't think about it that way a lot often, but if I do, that shit's wild. So, <clears throat> for I mean, you're obviously from, you're from Merced, right? Merced, California. Yeah. Shout out to GB. We had GB on the show yeah, before. Yeah, shout out to GB. Just got the Merced like a philanthropist award from the city two days ago. Oh, he's ago. a great guy. Bro, yeah. I can't. I, he was just recording here last week. Uh, sweet guy, man. Um, we also had another kid from Merced on the show, the 16-year-old kid I met at La Russell's house. Mao, uh, Mao something. He's, yes. he's a rapper from Merced. With dreads, GB glasses. Says he's like the next kid. He's incredible. So I, I met him at La Russell's house. No shit. And I was like so mesmerized by his freestyle or whatever he did on stage at La Russell's house. I was like, bro, you got to come to LA and rap on my show. Really? And him and his dad came on a school day. On a school day, it was fucking sick. That's awesome. Um, and I'm actually on the radio in, uh, in what's not Merce- okay, Modesto. What's, Modesto. Yep. Yeah. What's the station? It's like hot. I think Hot 1047. I think that's the station yep. I'm on. Hot 104. Hot 105 now. What, I'm on the hip hop or whatever the rhythm. Oh no shit! Is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's, the, that's the only. Uh, that's the only outlet we have in town is the radio, man. Yeah, shout out to Merced, man. Merced, dude, this is the most it's the information drive-thru. anyone. It's a drive through city. Is it? It is. Well, you, got, you need drugs? That's the spot you stop on the way to LA or the Because they got cookies there, right? And the lemonade, or is it just, is there and none of that? I'm talking about dispensary wise. Honestly, no, I think there is. I think there is. I think one, there's a cookie there. I've never been to a dispensary in my town ever. Why would you? Well, I just, I've just never been. It's, it popped up in like the last three or four years. And honestly, I don't really go to a lot of dispensaries here. I mean, neither do I. Yeah. Like I I, all the weed I get is free. So I just, I like to, I get that much free weed from people every day, but I just buy, there's just certain weeds I buy. What is your go to like strain? Like your, you preferred well, It's to non-existent smoke. right now, but the gassiest OGs on the planet is all I want to smoke. So you're an OG day, guy. Every day in my sleep, but I can't find it. Well, it's kind of crazy because like OGs have kind of died out, right? Where it was kind of like, what, eight or nine years ago. Every rapper was off the OG. Years ago, I would buy a pound every month, and I'd smoke it throughout the month. Right. And I was happy. And then I got a pound and went, what is this bullshit? Fool's gold. Yeah. I get burned and went, that tastes like sulfur. You, you got me. And then I got another two packs, and I went, are you fucking kidding? I just wasted my money. I'm it's not like almost like it. the exotics have just taken over to the point where it's Anything like- Anything candy. Yeah, it's like- Anything candy takes over. This, I bought a pea. This is lemon. I've been smoking- this lemon and it's so fire. So you're still buying. Uh, you're still buying. You, I mean, you, you as much free weed as you get. Oh, I, I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I will try your weed, and I give it to all my homies because then they don't gotta buy weed, they don't gotta do shit. Hey yeah. Cyrus, how much weed do I give you every fucking week? <laughs> yeah, it's motherfuckers awesome. give me so much weed, and yeah. I'm like, first of all, a lot of the shit is whatever, right? Yeah, the, I just feel it comes bad. in cute bags. Yeah, it comes in cool bag. I just feel bad, like. I have two zips here. Like, fool, here, take some. I'm not no, going to no, smoke no. that for at least two weeks. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? For sure. Yeah, I, or my I sister. I hook up my dad. My dad is, my dad's in town right now. I just lace him. I'm like, take all this shit. Must be hyped. Oh, yeah. Like uh, Hardeen in Las Vegas, they give me like store credit every month. So I'll go to Vegas and I'll just be like, dad, what do you want? 
because they sponsor a podcast. Shout out to Hard they, Dean. They just hit us up. They're great guys. I was man. wondering who. I was wondering. Arcan- I know they're out of Vegas. Yeah. Who Who are you talking to? Uh, Marty's handling that. That they're great that guys. One. Yeah. Cool. Fuck yeah. with them. I've never been to any. Disp- I've only been to Hard Dean is the one. It's like you walk in and it's like the it's like the Rolls Royce of dispensaries. They have their own scent. It's like a signature scent. They got their own shoes. They they do. They drop their own feelers. <laughs> Get their own scent. No, I swear to God. No, I love that. But and you can buy the, the board meeting. They're like, yo, what do we need? We need people to smell like us. I'm like, what the fuck? so good. We had the candles, but we ran out of them. Because you, you light the candles, the terpene, and, and now it smells like Hardeen. That's amazing, bro. Do they grow there, too, at the spot? No, they're strictly, they do not Just grow. Retail. Yeah, they're strictly retail. Because I feel like a lot of people who try to go full vertical, they end up fucking out of business or... Or just never that great. Yeah. The overturn of employees and goes, I don't care about this crop. Like, it's not, I'm going to get paid today. And yeah. That's a lot. So they're strictly the retail. Thing. Yeah. And then they're doing like a, they got some big plans. I can't say what they're doing, but they got some big plans. It's Vegas, you know. Yeah. Um, 